for too. And so tell me, do you have any ideas about that? Diverging glasses. So, how does that help us? So, that gives you I don't know. <laughs> now, how, how could you possibly start a fire with your glasses? would make the light stronger? A converging? So let's think about this converging lens here. So now, are these light rays going to bend towards each other or away from each other? Towards. So where's the image? is where the outgoing light rays converge. So here's the image. Uh -huh. Now, is this a real or virtual image? Real. Because the image is in the same place as the outgoing light. Now, is there actually any light here? Yes. Yeah, you can see the light here. Mm -hmm. So this is going to get pretty warm. There's going to be a whole bunch of light rays coming through here. I've only drawn two light rays, but all the light rays are going to be converging to here. All the light rays are going to be coming to here. Um, so we're going to get something that is, uh, all the, uh, the light's going to be here, so you would expect that, that here we could get some heat. Okay. So it looks like this would work. Now how about for a diverging? No, this is a virtual image. Where would the image be here? In front, on the left. Yeah, how can we find that image? Where, where would it be? It doesn't seem like these are going to converge, so where is the image? How would we locate that? Is that where the lines meet? Which lines? The trace backs, right? Yeah. We want to trace these back. Yeah. The image is where the outgoing light rays or their trace backs converge. Well, here the outgoing light rays are not going to converge, but here's the image where the trace backs converge. Right. So, is this real or virtual? Virtual. Virtual, because the outgoing light is on the right, but the image is on the left. Yeah. A virtual image is on the opposite side to the outgoing light. So when the person is looking here, where does it seem like the light is coming from? From here. Yeah. See, but is there actually any light here? No. So will there be any heat here? No. No. Even though it seems like the light is coming from here, there's no heat at this point because there's no actual light rays. There is no actual point in space where the light rays are really converging here. There is no point in space where they're really converging, so here there would be no heat. So which of these could we use to start the fire? B, C. Oh, so yeah, first of all, B, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, because the far sighted person would have the converging lens. Okay, D did you say C? A C? Why C? How do you think work that out? Is that a converging mirror? How do you know? Because it's on X. Is it? I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't use a shaving mirror or a cosmetics so. mirror. Well, let's Actually, see. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> what would we want? So do you remember our table? cosmetics or shaving mirror, inverted or upright? Upright. So that means we have to be in one of these two places. We've talked about this chart, right? We, have we, did we do this chart together? Oh, we didn't? We never went through this? No. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, so this is, why don't you put this in your notes? This is yeah. a useful chart. Oh, you already got it. So what this tells you is, oh, so it's not finished here. So this works for either lenses or mirrors. And what this tells us is, for a diverging lens or mirror, the image is always upright, virtual, and shrunk. For a diverging lens or mirror, the image is always upright, virtual, and shrunk. 
but there's three different cases for a converging lens or mirror. If you put the object inside the focal length, the image is upright, virtual, and magnified. If you put the object between the focal length and twice the focal length, the image is inverted, real, and magnified. And for a converging lens or mirror, if you put the object outside twice the focal length, then the image is inverted, real, and shrunk. And again, this works for either lenses or mirrors. Okay, so we want an upright image, because you know when you're shaving or putting on your makeup, you want to see yourself right side up, right? Otherwise, it would be too interesting. Yeah. So we have to be in one of these two cases. Now, do you want to see a magnified image or a shrunk? Because I guess the whole point here is you want to be able to see very clearly what's going on in your face. Right. Okay, so um, what type of uh, uh, mirror are we going to use, converging or diverging? Converging. And would that give us heat? Yeah. Yeah. So just like a converging lens gives us heat, a converging mirror is going to give us heat too. Oh. Well. Yeah. Uh, a converging mirror can also give us heat because it can make the beams converge towards each other yeah. over here. You can make the beams converge towards each other over here. So um, that's going to give us the heat. OK. Now, if the beams came from this close, you'd actually get a virtual image. But the sunlight is coming from very far away. So you're going to get a real image. So the cosmetics mirror would work. All right, let's do the other part. So how about D? Um, which of these types of images would you want for D? W where would we be in our chart? I think it's upright. Yeah, obviously you want it to be upright, because you want to see things upright. But the whole point is, the whole point of a rear view mirror is it's supposed to cram a, a wide vista into a small space. Yeah. So everything's supposed to be shrunk. That's why they say that objects may be closer than they appear. Because everything's so small, they seem like they're far away. So the rear view mirror has to be upright and shrunk. So would that be converging or diverging? Diverging. So would that start the fire? No. No, because diverging lenses or diverging mirrors the light is bouncing off like this, the image is virtual, there's no real light over here. Okay? Um, I don't know what the shape of a bottom of a champagne bottle is. So, what's that? I don't know. You don't either? You didn't ask a GSI? <laughs> All right, so I can't tell uh, whether that would be converging or diverging. All right, so I guess we're done with this. Okay, anyway, um, this is actually a real helpful chart to have in your cheat sheet. Yeah. Uh, you wanna get some practice with this so you can make sure that you understand how to use it, but this actually can save you a lot of time here. Okay, good. Well, um, again, I just really recommend before you do any new questions, try to go back and just redo the questions we just did because the questions we just did were challenging enough. There's no point trying to do new stuff unless you really know that you can get the stuff right if you did. You might have to do these questions three or four times before you can get them right, but there's no point going on to do stuff until you know you can get the stuff right. These videos are offered on a pay what you like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks.